Welcome to the Focal Point. All right, how's everybody doing tonight? A little bit about Kelly. Um, we, I, we've never had her here at Focal Point, but she has been in St. Louis. Uh, she's played CBGBs, uh, she's played Squires. Um, I think she played Jack's Joint and possibly Joe's Cafe. Um, but um, anyway, we're glad to have her here tonight. And I think I'm gonna quit talking and just ask you to put your hands together and bring Kelly out. Hello out there. <laughs> So glad you're here. Uh, like, thank you for that great introduction. Uh, it's not our first time to St. Louis, but it's our first time here. Uh, first time seeing some of y'all, so we uh, appreciate you coming out and saying hi. Uh, make sure you say hi at the uh, set break and uh, after the show, too. We love meeting y'all. Uh, we're on the road from Kansas City and uh, onwards through North Carolina and Chicago and some other roundabout ways. Um, Kelly just moved to New Orleans, actually, and so uh, our roundabout ways are becoming more and more round and about. Um, so uh, yeah, I met her here uh, from uh, Kansas City uh, this morning. Um, and uh, she's uh, been working her way up uh, from uh, New Orleans through Memphis. And uh, we met here today. Well, now I can't find it, so we're going to improvise. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call this? <laughs> The oh, oh no capo moment. <laughs> That's what this is. Um, yeah, it is a pleasure to be here. And um, I just have a special affinity for river towns. And I just keep finding my way to from one river town to the next. Um, I'm sure it's good, good to be here. I'm going to start off with a tune off of uh, my debut record, Even the Sparrow. that one over on this one. What service? <laughs> All right, here's the song I wrote as a pep talk to myself, uh, get myself out of bed one morning. It's called Sunshine Long Overdue. and so must you. Gone are the shadows of the night, put out the artificial lights that in days absence have to do. Thank you. 
You've had your eyes trained on the sky and tracking that storm cloud for miles. You've missed the flowers that you feed.
Tom, do you mind if I, you can just bring <clears throat> maybe both Vokes and, and Banjo down a little bit on stage. <laughs> Thank you so much. Tom behind the board tonight, doing a great job. And got two banjos dialed in, which is uh, hard enough to get one to cooperate, so. This next tune, you know, is one of those songs that came from an unlikely place. <laughs> I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, just uh, down the river. <laughs> and um, my folks still live there, and, and they have a big old front porch, and it's one of my writing spots. And so every time I go home, I camp out on the porch. And I was sitting out there with, with this banjo one day, and it was a late summer day. And um, my dad had this big bonfire burning, so there's all this smoke coming through the trees in the late afternoon sun kind of coming through the smoke. And there's just this haze, this kind of magic haze. And I decided to take a break. I still had my banjo strapped onto me though from, from playing and writing and so I took a walk down the driveway and there's woods on either side of the drive and all these dead leaves on the ground and I heard this rustling of leaves at my feet and I looked down and there's this huge brown snake right there uh, off the driveway. And I, we both stopped and neither wanted to be the first to move I guess and I just kind of weirdly started just like plucking my banjo in this moment. And this song was kind of, this riff was kind of born, and I went back to the porch and I, I started working on this song. It's a tune called uh, Lost Highway. And it will be on uh, the record that we're putting out later this year, hopefully this summer. <laughs> Thank you. 
a treat to be here with y'all. You know, it's funny, um, we were, the first, very first time we played here was at Squires, and uh, there weren't many people there, um, but who should have been there but Tom Hall? And uh, it's, it's, it's amazing to think that right now at Squires, there's a happy hour going on in his memory. Um, but he was there, and he uh, called his buddies here and was like, get on down here. And that was kind of my, uh, you know, my, that was the pipe dream, was to play the focal point. And um, so it, it's really such a cool thing. And I'm grateful to have met Tom and for him to weirdly have been a bridge to us being on this stage tonight. And uh, they're, they're celebrating him. Um, so it's amazing. But yeah, really very, very special for us to be on this stage where so many greats have played. And um, for the likes of you all, such uh, good listeners. <laughs> We're going to do uh, the title track off of um, my debut record, which Stash Haney here co-produced with me and plays a bunch of different instruments on that. And um, this is sort of the first song that I wrote on banjo that stuck. Uh, and it's, it's called Even the Sparrow. Still not sprung a leak 
so much. Before I put this banjo away, I want to introduce it. <laughs> this is Sully. It's actually my, uh, I, have, I have identical twin tenor banjos. They're both from the 1920s, which is kind of the heyday of the little lightweight four-string tenor banjo um, that you could take on the road. And um, actually, the, what got me into playing the, the tenor, I was playing a five-string at the time, but then I moved to Kansas City. And uh, this fella brought a little banjo case to uh, a little banjo to one of my shows came up to me afterwards and said hey are you interested in another banjo and I really wasn't but I was trying to be polite I said well I'll take a look and uh, opened up the case and there was this tiny little uh, four string tenor it looks exactly like this but it has the original calfskin head so you could see the stains in the leather from where someone's finger oils had seeped into it from playing and uh, so I kind of it was love at first sight and then I, I played it and it was just so mellow and warm and, and so much character. And so needless to say, I, I took that banjo home with me and I never parted with it. And I recorded most of my uh, first record here on that banjo. Um, but it also, it had a little note in the case saying this uh, banjo was played by a man named Ira Tam and his dog and pony show from 1920 to 1935. And I'm just uh, still, I think about who was this man, you know, wandering around during the Great Depression, you know, with his pony and his dog and his little tenor banjo. And, um, yeah, so anyway, this is the, the uh, weirdly enough, an identical twin to that. It's an anonymous make, um, strange kind of proportions and markings, and it's an identical twin to it fell into my lap from a totally different person across the country uh, a year later. And so this is kind of my touring version. But, uh, all right, we're going to switch gears here. 
I wonder if I'm the dog or the pony in that reincarnation. <laughs> you could be both. I've heard actually. that story a lot, but I'm, it's not until this very moment on stage that I'm actually wondering that question to myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I could be both, actually. You could be both. I, yeah. Stash is a multi instrumentalist. He's playing a yeah. violin with me tonight, but on the, on the record, he plays organ, he plays uh, drums, he plays. What else do you play? Bass. Bass. <laughs> He's my one man band. Um, piano, he's a great oh, yeah. pianist. I do that too. <laughs> yeah, I'm very lucky to make music with this one. Guitar is my new adventure. Yeah, one of the silver linings of, of COVID for me was holding up with this guitar. And uh, it's kind of going down the rabbit hole. These next two songs, uh, you guys have a caboose out there, a very cool little train car out back. Um, someone here restored that or is responsible for that? We're working, we're working on yeah, that. it's beautiful. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite things, our little uh, cabooses, actually. So I moved from Weston, Missouri. Anybody been to Weston? Little river town. The original Kansas City, actually. It was founded in the 1830s and before the river changed its course before the big floods of the late 1800s when the river changed its course and Kansas City was born. It was the, you know, the big trading port for tobacco. A lot of tobacco was grown around there. And it was like, it's like this little Wild West kind of brothel town from the 1830s. It's actually Jesse, or Wild Bill Cody. It was his boyhood home. Mm -hmm. um, Buffalo, who, I get all these characters mixed up. Buffalo Bill. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's a very cool little river town. The, the, the Missouri wraps around it, and inside of that, a uh, pair of train tracks wraps. So two of my favorite things. And there's a little retired caboose, very much like this one, except it's yellow and green. And it's parked right off the train tracks down there at the edge of town. And that's uh, my second favorite writing spot next to the front porch back home. I used to go down there and think and write and uh, watch the trains go by. And uh, so these next two songs were born sitting there with the trains. Thank you. 
that I have in hand. Um, it's kind of a love song to the South. It's called Delta Blues. I 
was born on a riverbank And I was raised in the Delta Plains Raised in the Delta Plains Headed for the hills when the rains came I was raised in the Delta Plains And my mama gave me a Christian name My mind gave me a Christian name I was baptized in water by the Holy Flame When I was given a Christian name And my daddy, he worked so hard for his pay Daddy worked so hard for his pay Putting food on the table every day Oh, my daddy worked so hard his pay and Lord knows they tried to raise me right. Lord knows they tried to raise me right, but the devil himself had me in his sights. Although they did their best to raise me right, and the devil he grabbed hold of me. The devil he grabbed a hold of me. He took the savior himself. To set me free Oh, when that devil grabbed a hold of me And now I'm singing a free bird song Singing a free bird song I flew through the shadows for far too long But now I'm singing a free bird song I am singing a free bird song How's everyone doing out there tonight? It's wonderful that you're here with us. Thank you for being here. And thanks to Jeff for uh, having us here. Such a special space to make music in. I just wrote my first St. Louis song. It's, it's, uh, it kind of needs accordion or piano to work. Well, there is a piano back there, but uh, <laughs> it has to be an acoustic version, but maybe next time I roll through. It's actually kind of a, a, an ode to river towns, of which St. Louis is one, Memphis is another, and New Orleans is the destination. Um, so I have to do that one next time. That's your that's your tease to come to. <laughs> but for now, we're gonna go back deep into the south uh, to actually Eastern Tennessee. Uh, any of you been out to the Great Smoky Mountains of East Tennessee? <laughs> it's so beautiful down there. And um, I lived down there a bit. Uh, there was a chapter of my life where I was a bread maker. <laughs> uh, and that was my bread making chapter. And I lived in this little log cabin that looked out over uh, gravel road, fields of cows, foothills of the Great Smokies. It was very idyllic. And um, I was there that I kind of fell in love with old time music and, and Appalachian music. And Gillian Welch, you know, I'm a great public radio. Speaking of great public radio, KDHX. What a great radio station, and they've really been uh, so wonderful playing this record and promoting for the show tonight, so i um, grateful for that. But great great radio down there as well, WDVX, I think, and, and uh, the Blue Plate Special, yeah, um, which will be playing at the end of this run. But anyway, they, they kind of introduced me to so many of my favorite contemporary singer-songwriters that are very much rooted in those traditions, and... Um, it kind of shaped my writing, really shaped my writing. So these, these uh, next two tunes were born of that, that uh, chapter and in inspiration. Yeah. 
Another tune that I wrote on a porch, but but that porch, living in this little log cabin, uh, that was um, clearly built from a kit because you could see sunlight through the logs. <laughs> Very poorly insulated, and I lived with a lot of ladybugs, uh, <laughs> lots of ladybugs. But uh, sitting out there on that porch and uh, just kind of, it was my closest neighbors were the cows and, and a rooster. I had other neighbors, but those were the closest ones, and um, and I was uh, looking out, and it was turning winter, and it just seemed to me like the mountains looked bluer um, as winter was coming, like they looked cold, and uh, so it kind of inspired this song, it's Winter in the Mountains. Thank you. 
Reflection in the sky and the fog up high. I watch it settle on the fields like cotton in July.
the soul flies free I won't take nothing So if we part, do meet no more. And if this fire will be our last, I'll meet you on that further shore. Beyond the shadow, this world casts. There ain't nothing in this world. There ain't nothing in this world, there ain't nothing in this world for keeps. When I lay my body down and my soul flies free, I won't take nothing in this world. I won't take nothing in this world. I won't take nothing. Just do a, a couple brand new ones, and then we're going to take a break, and then we'll do a shorter set for the second set. Um, I guess that's all I have to say in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, except. Um, as an introduction to these next two tunes. They kind of came as a couplet, <laughs> and I feel like they were, I like to think there's someone's story from a long time ago. Some, maybe the same person's story. It feels that way to me, and I don't know why I wrote them. <laughs> but this one's a, called Nine Pound Hammer. With my nine pound hammer and some penny nails, I built a boat of wood. And if this boat ever should set sail, I'll be gone for good, good Lord. I'll be gone for good. Well, brown eyed Betty with her long hair down, she's pretty as a picture in a book. And if anyone could get me to settle down, she could do it with just one look, good Lord. Okay. 
cradle for the baby. I'm made for Betty, a rocking chair. I've been sitting in a rocking all day, rocking and crying all day. For my brown eyed Betty and on sweet day, I call this frozen ground. I did all I could do, the doctor said.
Thank you so much. We'll Kelly be right Hanna. back with you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. <laughs> okay. How'd everybody like that first set? Wasn't that great? Beautiful music. Somebody else I would like to thank. Um, Tom Flood is local here. Um, he... He's been around in a, uh, the music scene. Um, I don't know. Do you play music, Tom? Okay. He's like me. Love to, love to watch. Can't play a lick. Um, but Tom contacted me one day and, and told me about Kelly. Um, I kind of put it in the back of my mind. And I guess about the same time, he told Kelly about us. And she contacted me. So we need to thank Tom for putting us all together. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Um, once again, Kelly Hunt and Tosh. Nope. I think I left it on the train, the caboose out there. Uh, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's probably still there. This will do, though. So I'm gonna do this one. Uh, it's the first track off of that record, and uh, it's called "Across Great Divide." Those words I want to hear. They ring like a melody that lingers in my ear. Not trace the words upon your lips, better for to hear and to etch the memory in my mind of a love I'd only ever hoped to find. Oh, one more time, won't you place your hand upon? Feel the heart that beats for you, the heart that knows no rest. The heart that knows you most of all, the heart that loves you best. And that broken though a bee goes marching on and renders its love into a song. Now I am broken as a broken down dam. And I am. Busted as the highway man. You hit me on my blind side and you slipped right through my hands and the fragments flung so far I don't see how I'll ever get a hold of myself now. Well, there's so many things I couldn't bring myself to say. So many little burdens you couldn't bear to give away. And so many obstacles that undermined our strength. And suddenly the walls came tumbling down. And in the rubble you were nowhere to be found. But the hardest part is knowing circumstances are to blame. 
heavy weight of grief, uncertainty, and shame. They carried us to sea, and they buried us in the wake, and we were battered by a stone too rough to ride. And we washed ashore on opposite sides. Now I am rutted as the parched lowlands. And I've been gutted like an old tin can. You said one day you will come to see just how bad I am. But you're not bad, just full of brokenness and pride. And a little too much hurt for you to hide. Oh, hate me, you will hate me, you will hate me soon, you said. And how those words have rattled in my head. And I've waited for that moment in longing and in dread. I find only the converse to be true. For every day expands my love for you. And I hope it brings you comfort. And I hope your love is true. And I hope you are a friend of hers. I have been to you. And I hope you have a happy home. And it brings you life anew. And that no bitter regrets will dog your mind. But do remember me from time to time. My love is quiet, but still waters run deep. And it calms the riot that's inside of me. And it's high as the sky, and it's vast as the sea, and over time it will cut a canyon wide, and ferry me across a great divide. tunes tonight off that first record, which uh, we haven't done in, in a while, played a lot of these tunes, but I think I've got the new record on my mind, and uh, it somehow made me uh, remember the first record in a very, I don't know, this moment of anticipating a release. Um, it's taken me back in time to that uh, first one. We're going to do another song off of it. It's, uh, this one's all about birds. I love birds. And um, yes, this is a song called Bird Song. Bird Song's also one of the first songs that I heard uh, Kelly Hunt play. Oh, really? Uh, it is, yeah. It's early on, uh, right there with Even the Sparrow, which was amongst uh, the first, if not the first. Uh, that's the uh, song we met over, speaking of this album. You yeah, know. Even the Sparrow, uh, the title track is the song. Even the Sparrow that, that you heard earlier. and. Um, we met at an open mic in Kansas City, a little mm -hmm. dive bar. Any of you ever make it out to the Westport Saloon, Rest in Peace? Yeah, Rest that was peace. where... It was a great venue. I cut my teeth. That was my first ever gig. I don't know why they gave me a gig. I was, uh, you know, brand new to Kansas City. I'd never played my songs in front of people before. I had just my four-string, quiet little 100-year-old tenor, tenor banjo that's not very loud, playing all original music by myself on a Friday night in Party Central, Kansas City. And... Uh, for some reason, they gave me a, a residency, a Friday night residency, and it was just like, boy, I got through it, but it was just everything I had in me, you know, to get through that two-hour set by myself. And I met Stash at an open mic there, and we kind of, you know, jammed a few open mics in a row, and I was like, do you have any interest in uh, learning my songs and playing with me on this gig? Um, it's wearing me out. And he was like, well, okay. And that was history. We ended up, you know, ended up joining me in the studio. And all right. 
You know? No, I didn't. You didn't. It's the product of the, the pandemic. This is a COVID project. Yeah. He originally said uh, when COVID was over, he would cut it. Yeah. But now I, mean, I think it's like an appendage that he would feel like de- incapacitated know. without yeah. it. It's like how people know me now. It's a, it's a weird <laughs> thing. Um, yeah, I'm stuck with it. And uh, funnily enough, he named his the violin Merlin. That's uh, true. Right before he started growing this epic beard. Before COVID, yes. So some people, you know, look like their dogs over time. <laughs> but I think that happened to me in this fiddle. <laughs> Whoa. Ponytail, but he's growing it on the, on the chin. That was great. I love that.
Thank you so much. Okay, we made it. You what? We made it. We, At least I did. Oops, I left. We've got some old instruments. Bye. 
This is Country Boy, the guitar. <laughs> he, um, it's an amazing gift. One of those, um, you know, tours full of unlikely moments. The moments you think will be the best oftentimes are underwhelming, and the moments that you think will be the worst are often the best. And um, there's this one memory that, this one night that stands out in memory because. Um, we were playing a tiny little dive bar in East Tennessee, and it was a football night in a in in you know UT town, and uh, so it was a late night set in this dive bar that didn't usually have live music and game night, and it went into double overtime, and it was just like, you know, already really late when we were getting started. Everyone had been drinking all day. We we're just like, okay, this is gonna be you know one. We're just gonna gut it out. It'll be fine, and um, ended up being like. A listening room could have heard a pin drop everybody was like on the floor circled around us it was just like an unbelievable night and uh, one another amazing moment from that night was this man walked through the door who I hadn't seen since I was like three years old he was an old family friend and uh, retired and he has a bunch of he, he's a guitar collector and um, he had a guitar case with him and he said um, meet your new guitar and I said, what? And, it, and he said, I'm not, you know, I'm not taking this home with me. It belongs with you. And he had, you know, my dad had, I think, sent him my, my record or something. And he said, I just have this really strong feeling this guitar belongs with you now. And so uh, it's an amazing guitar. And at the time, uh, I did have a guitar, but it was a little 1920 Sears catalog guitar with a lot of character Vernon. But he, he was essentially uh, a glorified baseball bat with strings. And not not really. You could play up to the third fret, and um, my calluses were so you know intense. I could I couldn't feel any of my fingertips from trying to just extract a song out of that guitar. And then I get this one, and you can just float practically plays itself. But uh, it was very well timed because that was right before COVID hit, and so I got to just kind of hole up with this uh, beautiful guitar for many months, and a lot of songs came out. It's a bourgeois, um, it's a bourgeois country boy, which is hilarious. But yeah, Dan, Dana Bourgeois, he's a, a boutique, you know, small, small uh, guitar shop up in Lewiston, Maine. And uh, yeah, it's, it's Brazilian Rosewood and Adirondack Spruce. And so it's actually a guitar that was um, designed by Ricky Skaggs, uh, the guitar, uh, guitar player in Ricky Skaggs band. And so he, he designed it, and it's the Country Boy, but it's like a um, limited edition Country Boy. So it's just a really amazing instrument that I probably wouldn't have otherwise, you know. But um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, 
I'm hoping this uh, fall we're going to make it up to the northeast. We're planning kind of a northeastern tour and, and uh, going to make it up to the shop and meet the guys who built it. Dan and Bourgeois himself built this one, which is really amazing. So um, here's a couple new tunes. Steady, flowing to the ocean wide And I'm whirling with the eddies I'm turning with the tides And I'm learning from the river What it is to follow through And she says, don't you want to be part of something bigger than you? And I, I get so Fall asleep fast and deep And 
got one last tune for you. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you to Jeff for having us. Tom, running sound, making us uh, sound the way we sound. I had a, a great sound guy tell me once, I can't make you sound good, but I can make you sound the way you sound. <laughs> it's like, great, that's all. We're good. <laughs> I, can, I can work with that. And um, also, yeah, to Tom Flood, who kind of has been... Um, uh, a gateway into the St. Louis music scene and really helped us kind of meet people and make connections. And uh, to all of you for, for choosing to be here with us tonight, it really means a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Um, this last tune will be another kind of newer one. It's called uh, Time and Space. We will uh, next time we come through here. Have a new record in hand. We didn't really play much off of it. I know it's it's recorded, it's made. Um, it's definitely coming out in 2023. I'm I'm banking on the summer, and um, it's really kind of a summer record. So I feel like it needs to come out in the summer. But it was recorded down on Louisiana Bayou, and um, I'm really excited to release it into the world. The name is um, Ozark Symphony. I don't need to click on this one actually. Uh, Ozark Symphony, yeah, it's kind of a journey through uh, the most formative places in my life uh, geographically, and uh, the Ozarks have always kind of been the connective tissue 
of uh, the place. It's, I've never lived squarely in the Ozarks, but it's always been the, the connective tissue between the places I've lived and uh, musically too. So yeah, it'll be... Yeah, he produced it. Great, um, yeah, just a tremendous musician. Great old time um, fiddler and banjo player and a Cajun musician. I mean, he plays it all. But it was his, we recorded in his little studio, Cypress House studio, right there on the banks of Bayou Tesh. And the first thing I noticed when we stepped into it, you smell the wood. It's 300 year old Cypress wood. And uh, you smell the, you know, just this warmth, this, you can still smell the sap in the wood. And uh, right there, I mean, the bayou's right in the right off the deck in the back. And there's a couple songs on that record inspired by the bayou. And it'll be uh, exciting to share that with all of you. I'm a terrible multitasker. I'm sorry. <laughs> I looked like I was talking in tune, but I was really just talking and touching knobs. <laughs> Okay.
maybe on the violin. <laughs> Kelly thank Hunt you so much for being on here with us. Else. And everyone who made this night possible, thank you so much. Thank you. Come say hi, we'll be at the merch table. <laughs> thank you. Soft and sweet or something peppy and high energy? Yeah. Okay. Next Saturday for National Accordion. Yeah, Day. That but we can do uh, we oh. could do a honky tonk too. We could do one mile, two mile. Yeah, let's can do you do it. that with fiddle? Oh yeah, or holy blues. Or holy blues. Let's do holy blues. Yeah. Oh. So oh. you'll get a taste of <laughs> you'll get a taste of another body of work that I I have in mind maybe making this record in New Orleans because there's a great little vibey honky tonk scene down there, and uh, I kind of have um. You know, Hank Williams Sr. is just my honky-tonk man. I just love that man. And uh, there was this one summer where I was, I was just very blue, and I uh, was driving back south, and I stopped at a truck stop, and there was just um, a, a double-decker Hank Williams greatest hits. It just spoke to me from the truck stop shelf, and I grabbed it, and it was like all I listened to for probably four months straight. And I just started writing a bunch of honky-tonk tunes. And I kind of had this dream of making just a straight-up, old-school honky-tonk record. I don't know what I'd ever do with it, but just to do it and have it. And so you're going to get a taste of that. This is one I wrote that summer. It's called, Hunk it's called uh, Holy Blues. I got a hole in my pocket, got a hole in my shoes. Oh, <laughs> I got a hole in my pocket, got a hole in my shoes. Hole in my heart from loving you. A whole lot of hurting here left to do, and I'm barely holding on. When you first came around, I told myself the man's a heartbreak guarantee.
Thank you so much. You want to do? Uh, you want to? Okay. Well, we're gonna do one more. Um, farewell tune and I realize we always try to put in a cover in a set because to pay homage to all the beautiful music that came before us and uh, so I, I didn't do a cover tonight so we'll just do um, this one that's a beautiful old Irish traditional called Winding River Row and uh, well thank you so much for being here Some poets sing of a noble king, or have a sweetheart fair, and some tell a tale of ships that sail with treasures rich and rare. But my humble pen returns again. To scenes from long ago, far across the sea, to the vanity by the winding river road. Right well do I remember now those happy childhood days, the times I had. For my heart remains on the good plains by the winding river. And then brought his crown, our Duncan town is still within my view. And the bending glen I worshipped then. Thank you. Thank you. Kelly Hunt.